Okay guys, so tunaza darasa letu siku ya leo. Nadhani nimekuwa na siku nzuri kuanzia jana na hadi leo. Ah, uh, leo tunaendelea na somo letu la support and resistance. Kijao ngapi mfanyia mpresi somo la jana usiku? Ah, uh, so nadhani pia homework zitakuwa zinaendelea kuongezeka katika kujibu swali. So, tufanye flashback ya somo la jana siku we talk about support and resistance ambapo tuliweza ku identify downtrend ikiwa na muonekano huo also to identify mtoro unaoonekana lakini pia tunaona eh, the real picture ya chart zinavyoonekana kwenye downtrend tuchukulia mfano wa EuroUSD tuka identify pia uptrend ina sifa gani inafananaje then tukaangalia dalili example inafananaje also tukaona the consolidation market inafananaje so uh, tukiendelea sasa somo letu la leo tufanye flashback kidogo ili twende sawa sawa. Kujikumbusha zaidi uh, tuanze kwanza what is support. Guys naisikia? Nakusikia kiongozi. Okay. What is support? Simple definition ya support. Support is an area on the chart that the price has dropped but it is struggling to break below so here the simple definition is support support is an area on the chart that the price has dropped but it is struggling to break below what does it mean tuangalie example it's an area on the chart area on the chart remember it is an area on the chart to find a definition in vizuri ya uh, to define vizuri statement yet is an area on the chart that the price has dropped but it struggle to break down kwa hiyo price yetu imeshuka inafika ile eneo hapa in a struggle ina inakuta kwenye eneo ambalo in a struggle to break down ikiwa ina struggle to break down inachokifanya inashindwa ku break down hence inapanda then then the price goes up so in the area tunayo ita support guys is an area on the chart where the price has dropped then in a struggle kushuka chini ina ina, ina struggle kuendelea na trend yake ya kuelekea chini hii tunaita ndio support kwa hiyo hata kama ni ni ni, ni 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 ile uptrend market tulio discuss jana it's an area on the chart where the price has dropped and is struggle to break down also inakuja tena hapa an area on the chart the price has dropped but it struggles to break below the same applied to the trend ina ina pale ni bodi trend 
an area on the chart where the price has dropped but struggles to break down. Here in the Omana, yeah, support. Our sound guys. So, what is resistance? Resistance is an area on the chart where the price has risen but struggles to to break upward simple definition very clear and very practical guys so is an area on the chart It's an area on the chart. So guys, guys na mnaniskia? Guys. Okay. It's an area on the chart where the price struggles has risen but struggles to go to break upward. Guys, like that one. These are the areas above price may rise, but in a struggle to break upward. So definition coming up with resistance is a, is a is an area on the chart where the price has risen and it struggles to go upward. In a shindo you. So this is simple definition here. Simple definition of resistance. Here definition kichwani. So, to be able to definition of kabisa ya support and resistance, we will be able to do So, let's proceed. So, support and resistance. Support and resistance. If we check it to Nandika, it is SR. Of course, you can see it in the same way. You can see it in the same way. Support and resistance. Guys, support and resistance. So much support and resistance, guys. In a fall, when you get to the technical analysis, in the other market switch, I wish I was there. Analysis. Kumbuka katika forex market tuna three types of analysis. Na sisi tujiu kwa mba katika three types katika support and resistance tuna four katika category guy. Type ya kwanza tunaita technical analysis. Guys. Technical analysis ni aina ya analysis um, ni aina ya analysis ambayo tunafanya kwa kuangalia the movement of the market price kama ambayo tulifanya jana unafungua chat yako unafanya analysis kwa kuangalia behaviors mbalimbali ambazo zinaonekana kwenye chat hiyo ndiyo technical analysis Analysis ya pili inaitwa fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis hii ni aina ya analysis ambayo uh, trader anatumia news mbalimbali habari mbalimbali za kiuchumi zinazotokea duniani na reports mbalimbali ambazo labda zinatolewa na 
na benki ya dunia zinatolewa na na banks mbalimbali mbali za nchi kwa mfano BOT eh, Bank of Japan Bank of New Zealand eh, Federal Reserve vile ya America eh, kuna eh, Europe Bank kuna eh, Bank of England banks mbalimbali mbali huwa zinatoa report kila baada ya muda fulani reports mbalimbali mbali ambazo huwa zinaonyesha eh, thamani ya pesa yao ya yeah, I mean currency yao kwa kutumia zile reports eh, baada ya trader wana uwezo wa kutambua kwamba eh, leo tutabai au tutasell na kwa kipindi cha muda gani hii ndio fundamental analysis yani unasikia zaidi news eh, ambazo zinatolewa na eh, vyombo mbalimbali so ya tatu tunaita ni sentimental sentimental analysis Sentimental analysis ni aina ya analysis ambayo kuna report inaitwa commitment of traders report au COT, COT report. Hii ni report ambayo kila wiki inakwambia kuna toto ya buys watu wanao buy kadhaa na wanao sell ni kadhaa. Kwa hiyo utaangalia tu kwamba wengi ni wapi wanao buy au wanao sell pair fulani then utafanya maamuzi yao kutokana na hizo report i mean net eh, net buyers na net sellers au kunasema unaweza kuangalia number number of of contracts kwamba kuna contract total contracts ngapi ziko tayari ku buy na total contracts ngapi ziko tayari ku sell on that specific currency so through that unaweza ukafanya maamuzi kwamba uta buy au uta sell So nimefafanua hivyo ili tujue kwamba sisi kwa sasa tuna base katika kitu gani. Sisi kwa sasa hivi tuna base kwenye technical analysis. Yaani tunafanya uchambuzi wa soko kupitia behaviors ambazo zinaonekana kwenye chart. Kwa mfano tunaona zile tumediscuss support and resistance, higher highs and higher lows, lower lows and uh, lower high. Hizo zote ni ni, ni zinafor katika technical analysis. So katika masomo ya mbele pia tutakuja sasa kujifunza fundamental analysis pia tutajifunza na sentimental analysis. So guys, uh, let's proceed. Sasa uh, leo kama nilivyoahidi jana kwamba tunakwenda kuangalia practically eh, tunachola tunachora vipi support and resistance katika katika chart yetu katika kutumia ile M4 sasa support kwa nini katika forex market kuna kitu kinachoitwa support why support inatokea wapi tunajua kwamba uh, kwamba forex market inaoendeshwa zaidi na human behaviors nikisema human behaviors maana yake tunasema kuna greed kuna fear kuna panic means watu wana panic kuna furaha watu wana make a lot of profit kuna 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 instability nyingi sana za za behavior za watu zinazotokea ndio maana tunaona kwamba soko linatengeneza zile higher highs and higher lows lower lows and high and, and lower lower highs zile zote ni zinaonyesha tafsiri ya human behaviors anavyo behave mbali anavyo behave katika soko na hizo behaviors ni kama greed fear panic na na vitu kama hivyo so kutumia hiyo support manake support inaonyesha eneo fulani ambapo kuna behaviors nyingi za watu zimekusanyika nikisema hivyo maana yake ni kwamba turudi kwenye chart yetu hapa hapa tunaona kwamba kuna kuna support support hii support maana yake ni nini kwamba kama waka, wakati price inashuka kwenda chini hapa tunapata kitu kinachoitwa support it's an area it's an area where the price has dropped but struggles to break why the price struggles to break kwa nini price hapa inashindwa kushuka lakini hapa ilishuka ni kwa sababu hapa kuna behaviors nyingi sana za watu mbali mbali kuna fear kuna greed kuna panicment so kuna maana hapa kuna kwa kuna, kuna mashindano makubwa sana eh, kuna mashindano makubwa sana kati ya sellers 
kuna kwa kuna mashindano makubwa sana kati ya sellers na buyers kuna kuwa kuna mashindano makubwa sana kati ya sellers na buyers kwa sababu hapa wakati kuna mashindano makubwa sana ya sellers na buyers tutaangalia mshindi nani atakaye shinda basi ndiye atakaye buy kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kuna sellers wengi sana wana sell and at the same time kuna buyers kuna buyers sorry guys kuna buyers so kuna kutokea mashindano hapa ni kwamba kwa kuwa wakati price inashuka maana ke sellers walikuwa wengi no doubt sellers ni wengi kuliko buyers but ikifika kwenye eneo la support maana ke buyers na sellers wanakaribia kufanana kama is like numbers kwamba kama eh, kama kuna sela kuna sela 10000 it's almost equal to to buyers 10000 is almost on a balance ndio maana kunatokea eneo la support kwa hiyo hapa sasa kuna kutokea support kuna baadhi ya sellers wanabadilisha maamuzi kuna baadhi ya sellers wanabadilisha maamuzi wana panic kuna baadhi ya sellers wanabadilisha maamuzi wanaamua kuwa buyers and at the same time kuna baadhi ya, ya buyers wanabadilisha maamuzi wanakuwa sellers So katika huu mvutano kwa nini watu wanabadilisha maamuzi ya kuwa buyers and the sellers kwa sababu kuna ambao wali sell hapa walipofika hapa wakaamua kubuku profit kwa wale sellers ambao walibuku profit maana idadi hapa inapungua kwa sababu wamesharidhika na kile ambacho wamepata and at the same time kuna ambao walikuwa wamebuy huku walipofika hapa account zao zime zimeungua wamechoma account so so technically eh pengine buyers wanapungua pia kwa sababu eh, 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 idadi inazidi kukupu buyers wana wana wanapungua kwa wale ambao wame, walikuwa wanashuka, wanashuka chini wamechoma account kuna ambao wakati wana walibuy eh, hapa waliweka stop loss ikawa stop loss hit lakini pia kuna buyers ambao walikuwa wanasubiria price hapa kwa price ikishuka hapa tutabai. Kwa hiyo kuna ambao walijiandaa kubai hapa. Ndio maana kuna mtokeo mvutano fulani. So katika hii interchange ya buyers and the sellers katika buyers and the sellers unaweza price ina, inaamua kubai. So na most of the time hii social media guys lakini ni kwamba it can it can to take up to katika daily katika katika on day katika ndani ya siku moja inaweza kuchukua up to dakika tisini mpaka masaa tutu hours huu mvutano unaweza kutumia dakika tisini mpaka masaa mawili kuweza kufanya maamuzi and that's why tunapata tunapata support pia tujue kwamba banks pia na zenyewe zina trade mabanki makubwa yana trade yeah, hisi hisi currency ili ili tu na mfano mzuri let's tutumie kitu tutumie tuseme hii ni pia yetu ya eh, tuseme ni USD CHF tuseme ni USD CHF guys kwa hiyo banks pia na zenyewe zina zina sell na kubai. Kwa hiyo banks zinapokuwa zina sell pia na watu wengi wana sell. Na banks zinapokuwa kumwamua kubai pia watu wana wana buy. Ndio maana kuna tokea support eh, support and, and resistance. Kwa maana yake hapa tunasema kuna kuwa kuna mkusanyiko mkubwa sana wa kitu tunachoita contracts. Tunasema cluster of contracts. Contract hizi ni nini? Contract ni kama 
buy and sell orders kuna zile buy buy and sell limit yeah kuna kuna buy and sell orders kuna buy and sell and li limits and and everything of behaviors kuchoma accounting and a lot of stuff so hapo ya nitokea hapa also yanatokea hapa yanapotokea hapa pia ni in the same behaviors but ni inverse ni tofauti yake sasa kwamba hapa kuna tokea interchange ya buyers and sellers and so forth so lakini mwisho wa siku tunaangalia net at the end of the day tunaangalia what is net what is the net net numbers of buyers and sellers au tunaangalia total contracts contracts za buyers and sellers wapi ni wengi wale wengi ndio atakao amua price itapanda juu au itashuka chini sasa kama kuna tokea kama kuna tokea mashindano hapa ya buyers and sellers tunachogundua ni nini what we discover ni kwamba what we discover ni kwamba there are levels levels or price ambapo market it react it react kwa muda mrefu kwa hiyo kuna kuna eneo kama kama kutokea support and resistance maana hile eneo eh, kwa muda mrefu sana hilo eneo litakuwa lina mashindano kati ya buyers and sellers na pia hata katika ka, katika ka, katika resistance kutakuwa kuna behaviors fulani fulani ambazo zinatokea. Sasa maana ni nini kwamba katika hayo maeneo ndipo eneo la concentration yetu sisi tunapo tunapoangalia either to buy au to sell. Na katika definition hiyo tunagundua nini sasa katika mvutano huu wa buyers and sellers? What what we what we discover important importance importance of support and resistance Katika huu mvutano tunagundua mambo makubwa matatu Jambo la kwanza tunagundua kwamba support and resistance enable us to identify to identify or predict the direction of the market kwa hiyo ili uweze kufanya maamuzi ni lazima ujue kwamba ni eneo gani soko lita react wapi litatengeneza support or resistance ili kuweza kujua kujua the prediction of the market maana kile ni kwamba kama tulikuwa hapa tuli tuli tulikuwa ni support tukabai tukasell maana we are expecting this area price ifike hapa ili tufanye maamuzi sasa either tuna sell or tuna buy so ili uweze kuwa profitable ni muhimu sana ukajua eneo muhimu ambapo price inaona ku react hiyo ni importance ya kwanza ya resistance ya support and resistance. Moja kesho ni kwa mtu anapiga kelele. Guys, anayeongea naomba anayemwaga mwenzake kwamba atuone kesho naomba sauti. So guys, importance ya pili ya support and resistance ni kwamba timing. Yes, yes timing timing guys katika forex market kitu kikubwa kabisa ni timing how do you time 
soko haina mwisho soko litaendelea kupanda na kushuka maisha yake yote unachotakiwa ufanye wewe ni kufanya kazi nzuri guys number ya bana sasa hivi kuna mimi mimi sauti yake kidogo so timing wewe hapo kwenye nani ndio eh timing inatuwezesha sisi kujua entry point sijawahi kujiuliza ni wapi entry point entry point kiongozi wa mute hao wanaongea Okay. Fanya kwa kumute sante kwa kwa kunikumbusha. Okay guys. Timing. Timing tuna maisha ni timing ni kuweza kujua entry point. Ah, uh, kugundua entry point. Entry point ni eneo ambalo utajua either uta buy au uta sell. Entry point ni eneo ambalo una uta buy na kusell at the very possible price ambayo itakupa risk management nzuri. Yaani kwamba una buy katika price ambapo eh, hata ukiweka stop loss yako inakuwa ni, ni stop loss ndogo sana na katika trading huwa tunadhiki tuna risk 1% of the capital sasa ili uweze kujua una risk 1% ya mtaji wako wote ni lazima ujue kutafuta entry points na entry point ni lazima ujue support and resistance ziko wapi ili uweze kukadiria eh, entry point yako so timing ya ku buy na ku sell ni faida moja wapo ya support and resistance also faida tatu ni timing also ya exit point exit points exit points whether either with loss profit o break even na maanisha nini ukishajua eh, eh, ukishajua support and resistance itakuwezesha kujua kwamba mm -mm, hapa nilipoingia nimeingia choo cha kike kwa hiyo ni cut loss mapema kabla loss haijawa kubwa au ku, ku exit point with profit kwamba nimesha buy but i know hapa ndio maximum area imefika nichukue mpunga wangu e, e, nikae pembeni kwanza na to break even ni pale ambapo haupo kwenye loss au haupo kwenye profit yani soko limekaa hapo masaa mawili mpaka matatu hadi end popote tunaweza ku break even yani ku break even ni una cut loss katika ile zero yani zero zero ume balance pale kwa either kwa kwa dola viwili vitatu tunaita ni break even kwa hiyo nikisema kwamba entry point au entry point ya buy and sell ni hapa kwamba inatuwezesha kujua entry point za buy maana ni katika support also entry point za katika sell ni katika resistance kama tuna sell kushuka chini also tunapozungumzia kwamba tuna exit point ni kwamba uli buy hapa but you, kama umebai hapa utajua kwamba sasa nisubirie mpaka wapi ndio nitoke maana yake unatakiwa usubirie mpaka ikifika eneo la resistance ikifika eneo la ya resistance hapa unatakiwa u book profit either usepe na mpunga wako ukae pembeni take your money here alafu ukae ukae pembeni au au ulock profit unaweza uka uka take your money here ni mfano mifano mizuri kabisa kwamba unaweza ukaamua ku uh, soko 
Imefika hapa ukasema sasa una buy. Limefika hapa ukasema una buy. Very good. Ukisha buy sasa swali linakuja je nisubirie mpaka wapi? Nichukue pesa zangu? Nisubirie forever? Nisubirie mpaka hapa au mpaka wapi? Either should I wait here or I should take my money here? Hizi hivi pia ni sehemu za ambazo eh traders wanapo kufanya ma, ufanye maamuzi. Kwa hiyo unaweza uka, uka anticipate move kwamba mm, all, all I know kwamba price itafika hapa katika blue line au price itafika hapa lakini kumbuka wewe eh, eh, wewe wewe ulibai hapa chini. Kwa hiyo kama unaona kwamba hapa kutatokea kutatokea resistance unaweza kuamua kitu kimoja either kwa sababu tuseme hii hii ilikuwa ni inchi yako guys hii inchi yako wakati na buy lakini hapa hapa ukasema hii ilikuwa ni stop loss yako ilikuwa ni s stop loss yako ume lose all 1% of your account come if if things goes if things goes wrong guys sasa ume buy mpaka hapa umetengene umefanikiwa kutengeneza profit yako ya dola 300 profit Sasa unajiuliza kuna uhakika kwamba nichukue dola tatu hapa au niache ifike hapa nichukue dola sita. hii tunaita sasa ndio determining the exit point with the profit. So ikifika katika eneo kama hili kuna possibility moja wapo kwamba price inaweza ikashuka ikashuka hivi. Also kuna uwezekano ikashuka kidogo alafu ikapanda tena Did you see guys? Kama manisikia guys vizuri. So, price ile ikashuka chini. Alafu ikapanda. Lakini also you don't know sababu market sio 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 ya babu yako inaweza ika ikafika hapa soko likashuka chini kabisa lisirudi tena you see guys kwa una maamuzi unaweza kuamua kukubuku profit hapa au ukaamua ku drag stop loss yako uka lock profit ukaamua ku lock profit hapa ukaamua ku lock profit laba paka laba dola dola 200 uka uka lock profit so ukawa katika faida ukawa umesha lock profit then umeacha kuna kuna kama dola 100 hivi kwa sasa hauko tena katika hauko tena katika loss but but upo katika profit profit ni percent flani ambao utajua sasa kutokana na kutokana na kutokana na, na account yako ile ile. Lakini manake ni kwamba support and resistance imetusaidia kukujua wapi tutegemee tutegemee kwamba tuchukue profit wapi au to hold. Kwa hiyo ukishafika eno kama hili ni maamuzi yako either uchukue dola 300 au udrag kidogo 
uchukue dola 200 katika hiyo lot size ambayo uliingia alafu watch the market uh, market i play kidogo hapo kwa sababu market inapofika eneo la leo eneo la resistance huwa haiendi straight moja kwa moja inaweza ikachukua some time hata siku nzima ikacheza hapo au siku hiyo ikapitiliza kwa you, you never know kwa sababu support and resistance sio kama ni 100% holy grail hapana so utafanya maamuzi kwa best timing ya kujua lakini pia support and resistance kwa market uli hold market ulisema usubirie hii dola 300 hapo uchukue lakini soko likashuka mpaka hapa dola kwenye profit yako dola 200 tena pengine tuchukulie kwamba hukuweka hukuweka eh, hukuweka hukuweka huku drag into profit kama huku drag into profit maana yake soko lilipofika hapo kwenye resistance likageuza lika wewe well, expect kwamba itapanda likageuza likafika mpaka hapo likagoma kuendelea na safari likashuka sasa ile nao ambayo sisi tulitegemea kwamba kungekuwa kuna kungekuwa kuna kuna support hapa sasa sasa soko limetubadilikia pengine tulifanya analysis vibaya kumbe soko lilikuwa lina, lina change trend sasa inaanza kuwa down trend kwa hiyo ikifikia kama hii sasa tayari unakuwa ushakuwa notified kwamba soko sasa limeshaanza ku behave tofauti na ulivyotegemea so kidogo kidogo profit yako ina inapungua inafika dola mia kidogo kidogo inapungua inafika dola hamsini kidogo kidogo inafika dola ishirini tayari sasa unajua kama mm, hii ilikuwa ni support na support yangu ina, ina, ina kutwa kwa hiyo profit yako imeshuka dola mia tatu mpaka dola ishirini so hapa unafanya maamuzi sasa kwamba no let me break even kwa hiyo unasubiria ikishafika zero zero profit unaamua ku cut loss. Eh, unaamua ku cut loss. Unaamua ku cut loss. Maisha mengine yafanyaje? Maisha mengine ya maisha mengine yaendelee. So unaamua ku cut loss. I mean so loss, yani unaamua ku, 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 ku break even. So hiyo ndio faida ya kutumia support and resistance inakupa makadirio mapema kwamba wapi utegemee eh, profit and loss. So hizo ndio faida kuu tatu kwa nini tunatumia support and resistance. Another thing to add guys. Uh, strategy zote kuna strategy nyingi sana trading strategies. Hasa technical strategies. Guys, somo la leo ninawafunulia nina, nina ile technical know-how. Yaani ukiona hiyo support uichukulie katika uzito gani? Uko technical know-how. Yaani uwezi ku trade forex au uwezi kuwa na maamuzi kwenye forex kama hujui what's behind everything what's going on. Usipokuwa na uelewa mzuri utayumbishwa sana kwa sababu kila mtu anakuwa na mawazo yake na na hisia zake juu ya uh, charts. Kwa ukielewa zaidi kwamba hichi kitu kwa nini kiko hivi itakusaidia kuwa na maamuzi itakufaa So, kuna strategy nyingi sana. Kwa mfano kuna kuna market makers. Kuna market uh, anyway makers met uh, codes kuna Elliot waves kuna kuna kota theory kuna kuna wapi nimesikia wanaita TTT uh, ziko safi nyingi sana lakini support and resistance guys support and resistance ndio baba lao. Yaani hawa wote hawa at the same at some point wanatumia support and resistance kuchukua entries zao. So hizi sasa zote hizi na nyingine etc wote hawa at some point lazima wanatumia support and resistance. Wanaweza wasiseme 
straight kwamba ni support and resistance lakini ukiangalia kwa undani zaidi utajua kwamba hiyo ni support and resistance tu sema tu anatumia majina kwa tofauti so nadhani ni nimeendelea zaidi kwa kwa kufunulia the bigger picture ya support and resistance kwa hiyo haijalishi sasa huko mbele utaenda kujifunza strategy gani ya kutrade lakini support and resistance ndio baba lao yani ni kama kujifunza mziki vile ni kama kuna reggae kuna rmb kuna blues kuna kuna seven kuna kuna sokus kuna kuna rock and roll lakini wote hao mbwe mbwe hizo hizo zote ni mbwe za muziki lakini mwisho wa siku lazima warudi kwenye do do le mi fa sol la la ti do hii ndio foundation ya ya mziki kama mlisoma shule ya mziki kwa hiyo hata kwenye forex market hizo zote si mbwembe tu lakini mwisho wa siku they all go to support and resistance so guys baada ya kufafanua hivyo let's go to the to the practical sasa katika sasa katika practical how to draw support and resistance how to draw support and resistance kuna sheria chache za ku za ku note down the first rule support and resistance is not a specific area area or price but support and resistance is a zone ni zone sio mstari fulani kama kilichochola hapa ni kama mstari kembamba no support and resistance ni zone yani ni eneo kubwa fulani inaweza likawa inaweza likawa lina pips 30 mpaka pips 40 pips 30 mpaka pips 40 kwa hiyo sio kama mstari kamoja no it's a, it's a range it's a range guys it it's a range it can it can be a spanning ya pips 30 mpaka 40 I mean zero maybe to 40 pips or extra or more Tutakwenda kuona kwa nini ni eh, more so we may have the other price uh, maybe ni at uh, uh, at 1.40 uh, 40 40 and maybe to 40 to 80 pips 40 ni nzima hili hili eneo hili ni eneo ambalo price ina range hapo sorry guys nataka nataka ni nifanye illustration zaidi ili ili eh, ili muweze kuelewa ili mweze kuelewa guys this is this is very important kwa hiyo ni 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 ni, ni eneo fulani ambalo katika tutakwenda kuona live chats ambazo zi, 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 kwa hiyo tuchukulie kama hii 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 hi, hi ni resistance ni eneo fulani ambapo price huwa inacheza cheza sana. Yaani huwa ina hit. Ni eneo fulani ambapo price ukizoom zaidi ni eneo fulani hivi ambako ukizoom sawa jeka hii sikumbuki kwamba hii haiwezi kuwa kama forex haiwezi kuwa kama ruler kwa sababu inaendeshwa zaidi na na human behaviors
ni ka eneo fulani hivi ambapo price in a range yani price ikitoka kwa liko toka huko ikifika hilo eneo ikifika hilo eneo basi price hiyo inakuwa in a range katika ile eneo so this area ndo tutaita ni resistance tutakwenda kuona live so hii ni the same applied kwenye kwenye support chukua tu figure kwamba hii ikigeuka upside down inakuwa ni support kwa hiyo sio eneo specific kama tulivyochora huku hii ilikuwa ni illustration so now we are going deeper deeper and deeper and deeper so tunaweza tu tukaamua ku take average tu kwamba basi eh, support yetu inaweza kawa ipo katika average hapa guys tuko sawa sawa tukamwa sasa kwamba sasa okay this area itakuwa ndio eh, the average of our resistance so guys maana kile ni kwamba what is the best support best support ni range au ni eneo fulani ambapo limekuwa price imekuwa ikistruggle sana ni eneo ambalo price imekuwa ina struggle sana kugeuka e, ni price ambayo ina struggle sana kugeuka kuendelea na safari yake kama tulivyosema na pia re resistance ni eneo ambalo price huwa ina 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 struggle to break higher like here kama definition yetu mwanzo guys eh definition yetu sio tushai vuruga eh where is our definition yes to say hapo kwamba resistance is an area on the chart where the price has has been it is struggling to break upward struggling hii ndio maana ya struggle the price is struggling and also applied kwa support kuchukua hii image ifanye upside down unajua kwa kuwa muda tutafanya kitu kama hicho so guys let's proceed so if so maana ni kwamba support ni eneo ambalo hiyo price level fulani imekuwa tested mara nyingi sana kwa ukifungua chat yako ukona kwamba kuna price market ikifika hapo ku ina struggle mbona ina, inakaa sana katika hilo eneo unajua kwamba sasa hiyo ndio support au hiyo ndio resistance maana ni kwamba sasa ina imetuleta karibu katika zile faida zetu kuu tatu the support and resistance kwa ukiona kuna sema ambapo price ina struggle maana ni kwamba sasa upo katika zile sifa eh, eh, mambo makubwa tatu ya support and resistance so guys let's go to the live chat guys uh, he, this is a live chat now nataka sasa tuangalie support and resistance ah uh, uh, tunatafutia pea ambayo kidogo itakuwa ni rahisi kwenu kuzaka okay tumesema kwamba support and resistance ni eneo ambalo hiyo price level imekuwa tested imekuwa tested sana sasa hapa guys mtabidi mwe mnafanya mazoezi. Hii tumefungua USD HF ambayo ni 1 hour. So, unachukua your horizontal line unaweza kuipa rangi yoyote. Uh, mimi ni mamo, mimi napenda sana kutumia green. Naweza tukaamua kuipa uh, unene zaidi. So, this is our green line. So, tunaangalia eneo ambalo price imekuwa tested. Yaani hiyo price ilipofika pale imetokea struggle fulani. Mimi kwa haraka haraka nimeona kuna ile eneo hapo guys. Tuko sawa sawa guys. Ukiangalia kwa makini hili ile eneo utaona price ime struggle hapa. Ime struggle hapa. Ikaje ka struggle hapa. Ikaje ka struggle hapa. Ikaje ika struggle hapa. Guys, it's very simple. Maana kisa kwamba tayari tumeshaona eneo ambapo tunatakiwa tutolee macho zaidi sasa 
kwamba of all the charts of all the price movement tumeona kwamba hili eneo price ina struggle maana hapa kuna maamuzi yanafanyika kama tulivyo tulivyo discuss hapa kwamba kuna struggle la buyers and sellers interchange maana yake sasa kwamba price ilipofika hapa kuna struggle so guys so price definition ya resistance is an area where the chart uh, where the price has risen but it struggles to break upward very good the price has risen but it struggles to break upward struggles to break upward struggles to break upward struggles to break upward but eventually here the price will successfully break out but this area to let any resistance sasa say i wish na mimi ningekuwa beginner leo okay resistance hii resistance hapa sasa we are going to the real picture guys hii resistance tulizozungumzia hapa hii resistance tulizozungumzia hapa ndio hii hapa guys uko sawa sawa hii hapa so even here the price is like a struggle then ikapanda anything can happen guys it's not a heavy grave kama hapo unapona kwamba it is struggle kupanda ika struggle ika, lakini eventually here ikaba so kama sisi ni traders tunaangalia hili eneo hapa so kuna traders waliofika hapa waka sell waka book profit waka sell waka book profit so you you you, 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 can, you can see guys hapa kuna buyers wali buy kama nilivyoambia kwamba unatakuwa ujue eneo la kubook profit as as we discussed here kwamba ulibai hapa let's say shashum ulibai hapa then una hold mpaka wapi either u hold mpaka hapa au u hold mpaka hapa but maana yake tunaangalia kuna resistance hapa kuna huyu price hapa maana yake huyu anatupa target of our take profit so mtu aliyebai hapa ali take profit ya pips 182 aka take profit then hapa wakatokea sellers wakawazidi nguvu uh, wakawazidi nguvu buyers waka sell walipo sell at the same time kuna watu wanaangalia zile tuzo discuss juzi higher highs and higher lows higher high higher low higher high higher low higher low higher high higher low so mtu anaamua ana sell hapa na book profit hapa then ana buy again so things goes like that guys things goes like that so he tunaita hii sasa ndiyo resistance sasa somo tutakao fuatia tutaangalia zaidi behaviors so leo hui, leo to need to identify support and resistance so tunaangalia pia eneo gani tena lingine price ili struggle tunachukua tena line yetu mimi naona kwamba hapa kuna price na struggle hapa hapa na hapa natural line yangu hapa natural line yangu hapa sasa unatakiwa uhakikishe kwamba una balance dot hizi kila price ilipogusa iweze kugusa hii line naweza kabalance mpaka hapa so guys you can see how the price ilipofika katika price level hii ilipofika hapa market ili struggle guys support and resistance support and resistance the key to, the, to be successful trader you can see guys ilipofika katika hii price Uh, it is struggle price it is struggles it is struggle it is struggle kama definition yetu tunavyosema and remember kwamba uh, support and resistance so whom study whom study will tusaidia kwa precise lakini support and resistance is a zone ni eneo fulani ni eneo guys okay kwa hii ndio sisi chef tunaendelea mbele wewe tena ukasema kwamba okay Uh, support and resistance nyingine iko wapi so nyingine ni hii hapa guys you, you, you can see how the price struggled here guys kumbuka hii haya maeneo haya tulio tulio tunayo tuna yachora hapa ndio tulio sema kama yana sifa hizi kuu tatu ina enable to identify and predict the direction of the market guys 
soko limefika hapa at least you can, you, you can decide either we are going up or we are going down sasa let's look here it enable you to identify <coughs> the direction of the market the timing of buying and selling or to break even look here now guys price yetu imekuja hapa guys umeona hapa umeona hapa guys so tayari support and resistance inakupa mwelekeo kwamba no so technically hapa hatuwezi tukabai hapa hatuwezi tukabai wala hatuwezi tukasell kwa sababu tunasema timing in two point support and resistance imetusaidia kutupa eneo la kufocus macho yetu yaelekee wapi maana ni kwamba tunasubiria price ifike hapa price ikifika hapa sasa ndo tunaweza tukafanya maamuzi either tuna buy or tuna sell guys you see how simple things are kwa tayari mpaka hapa ushaje kama okay i can't buy here nasubiria price ifike hapa so price ikifika hapa anything can happen guys inaweza ikapanda juu au ikashuka chini but at least umejua kwamba the area of focus <coughs> sasa kujua kwamba price ita, itapanda juu itashuka chini mimi najua watu juu lakini kwa nini sasa hivi sitaki kuachanganya tutachowili kwenye next lesson kwa hiyo ukishajua the area of concentration so kuna baba imeenda shule predict the direction of market kuna buy and sell pia kuna Kiongozi mute tena Okay guys. Okay, I may I mute. So guys. So uh, the best timing. So tayari hapa tumeona kwamba kuna kuna the best timing kwamba sasa we can time very well. Our market kwamba okay inasubiria ifike hapa. Kwa hizi ndio tunazoita entry point into points. Kwa hiyo kama kuna mtu alisell hapa kama kuna mtu alifanikiwa kusell hapa maana yake anategemea ku take profit hapa. Achukue profit yake akae kwa sababu hapa kuna resistance. Hapa maana yake ni kwamba kuna kuna mvutano mkubwa sana. Ndio sema kati ya buyers and sellers ambao utatokea katika hili eneo. Kwa it's better to stay away, away of the market au kuangalia for the next entry guys. So hiyo hiyo ni kwenye USD eh, USD CHF. Let's look for Audi CHF guys. Audi CHF. Tunatafuta support and resistance guys. Hivi vitu natakiwa u practice yani dakika mimi nikicheck hapo nishaona resistance support and resistance kama 100. Ah uh, ya kwanza naona hii hapa. Guys, angalia the price ilipo react Angalia ilivyo react guys. Angalia ilivyo react guys. Hapa hii line guys tunasema ni support and resistance. Yaani hiyo line yote ni support and resistance. I will I will tell you why hiyo yote ni support and, and resistance. Uh, hii line ni support and resistance. So guys you can see our area of concentration so support and resistance is not a line it's a zone it's an area why it's an area kwa sababu eh, eh, binadamu hatuko precise sana ni kuonyesha so you can see kidogo price inapishana pishana inapishana pishana kwa namna fulani hivi aziko aziko exact katika same price lakini angalau zina kuna mkusanyiko mkubwa sana wa haya maeneo guys. Kwa hiyo support and, 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 and resistance is a zone. It's a zone. Kwa hili eneo linatupa uh, to concentrate wapi? Also, we can we can identify another support and resistance here. Guys, ukichoa tu line moja unakuta 
market ina react same zote guys look here yani ukichoa ukichoa tu line yako moja unakuta price ina ina react guys hii price ku react katika haya maeneo sio bure i will i will i will reveal more secret tutakapokuwa tunaendelea kusoma kwa nini price inakuja hapa nitaendelea ku reveal siri nyingi sana ambazo zinaendelea hapa kuna there are people behind the forex market ambao wanaitwa market makers kuna yale mabenki makubwa duniani mabenki kama matano hivi kuna barclays na dutch bank kuna ma, kuna makampuni makubwa ambayo yanafanya transactions kubwa ndio yanasababisha hizi price zinagota hapa so guys as you can see hii ni pia ni support ni support and and resistance nyingine so it it will never end it will never end siko nyingi sana so you, you, can, you can see guys support and resistance support and resistance support and resistance support so you can see guys it's not a it's not a specific area but it's a zone you can see how the price the de kwa hiyo maeneo kama haya tunajua kujifunza jinsi ya kuchukua mtu unakuta mtu akifika hapa anafungua lot moja matata sana kama mtu hapa anaacha lot ya tatu ya nini mpaka ya nne huyo mpaka ya 10 mpaka ya 100 it's up to you guys mtu ana sell hapo sababu anajua this is the areas yenyewe ambazo tunapata best entry na kama na kama akiamua kuweka stop loss anaweka stop loss ndogo sana ashumu here tayari unajua kwamba eh, market ina struggle hapa kwa hiyo hata kama uki, ukiweka stop loss yako ambao ambao tulizungumzia tuli, tuli hapa guys about the stop loss here stop loss yako unaweza kuweka tu hapa kama uli sell kama if you decided to go short here kama uliamua ku sell hapa basi unajua kwamba kama nime sell hapa and and the price goes up basi nakubali kula loss hapa ukafanya ukafanya calculation yako hapa pips zako ku pips zako ngapi hapa ni kuna gap sababu hii ni weekly you can go back and zoom uka zoom zaidi katika weekly maybe in weekly so kwa kwa leading purpose stop loss itakuwa kubwa sana but but this is the general picture ya ya kuweka stop loss kwa okay obvious kama nime sell hapa price ikapanda maana yake let me get out mapema kwamba uh, price imefanikiwa ku break guys next time pia tutakuja kujifunza uh, tutakuja kujifunza maana ya hizi candlestick kubwa tutaendelea kujifunza so let's pass through another pair guys hii ni usdjpy support and resistance tunazionea wapi abia can see one i can see one here guys nadhani uh, muda wetu unakaribia kuisha so let me uh, finalize kwa hizi hizi uh, practical so guys tuangalie hapa you can see guys it's very simple support and resistance you can see how we uh, price ikifika hapa ina behave guys support and resistance support and resistance na struggle price na react kwa sababu hapa kuna buyers and sellers wengi wanashindana kama as we discussed here never forget kuna interchange kubwa hapa kuna watu hapa wanabadilisha maamuzi sorry guys on this areas kuna watu wana blow account kuna watu wana book profit kuna watu wanapata loss kuna watu wana panic every kind of human behavior zinatokea so hapa kuna watu pia ndio wana deposit pesa so the price ikaja tena you can see here asiye pale but also we can we can find another support in, in the distance here guys support in resistance support in resistance support in resistance guys <laughs> it never end it never end so you can see kwamba kumbe katika katika forex market kuna baadhi ya price fulani zikifika kuna tokea msongamano wa watu ndio utajua kwamba okay we're going to, to, to get the best shot of our lives also here you can, you can see guys here we have something we have, we have resistance here angalia guys guys if if you if you lean properly haitakusumbua 
guys, resistance. Our definition says resistance is an area where the price has risen. The price has risen, but struggles to break upward. As you can see here, guys, the market is struggling. Market in a struggle to avoid you. You know, definition of resistance. So, Alpha, what we're expecting to uh, either to shuke or either to pand. So, but I'll sell Hapa, could after entry, I could sell from here. Could sell Hapa, Ukachoba County, Una Subiria, my new Kama higher. Price in a gonga, same Kama easy. Is in the same ambazo you want to you want to regret guys. You want to regret trading forex. Wasababu utakuwa na pata loss ndogo sana. Na kuchoma itakuwa ni historia. Kwa nini uchoma account kwanza? You see guys? Resistance. Resistance, resistance, resistance. Guys, another one. Let's go to Audi, uh, Audi USD, guys. So, if you support resistance, guys, it will never end. Another one here, guys, it's a zone. It's a zone. It's a zone, guys. So, guys, kwa siku ya leo, ni meonesha support and resistance. Sasa, nenda fanya mazwezi, kuchua support and resistance. Then, the next lesson, we will learn, we will learn, how support becomes resistance. Hita kwa ni lesson yetu inayofatia. But also, we will lean, we will, oh, not, not will, we shall, guys. We shall learn how resistance becomes, I don't know, support. Mutari Sami gets quack in Gaza Chango, Nandikara Karaka San. Why you, why you, he, 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 so mwana leo, mwajifunza kwa identify support and resistance kwenye, kwenye chart. So, nenda uh, fanyia kazi so mwana leo. Mtatuma baadhi ya vislide vichache kama nivotuma leo. Vya wind up. So guys, any questions so far? Karibu. Hakuna. So guys, Nadhani ni watakia uskuma na tutaonana the next time. Ah, shukua, mbaza.